Hi and welcome to the WordPress Workspace. In this tutorial guide, I'm going to show you how to use the Duplicator plugin to back up your WordPress website. So you're going to log into your dashboard, come on over to plugins, um, and you're going to click on add new, and you're going to add the Duplicator plugin. Okay, so in search plugins here, we'll just type in Duplicator and click enter. Okay, and over here, this is the plugin that we're going to use. As you can see, one plus million active installs, which is great. And it's also compatible with our latest version of WordPress. It was last updated three weeks ago, which is also something to keep in mind when using plugins on your WordPress website. So with our duplicator, you should see an install button. So you're going to install it, and then you're going to click active active it should say activate and then it will say active once it's activated okay so once it's activated on the left hand side you'll see something called duplicator here and we're just going to hover over that and click on packages okay so you'll get a screen much like i have here and we're going to click create new okay and you can change the name of the file if you want here i like to keep it as is because it gives me the year the date and of course um, the month and the date which is quite handy if you do this on a monthly or a weekly basis so you can just roll back your site um, to the specific date that you want I don't generally look into any of the other options um, however if your site is quite big you might have to play around with this archive section and perhaps filter out a couple of files that are too big so what we're going to do now is we're just going to click next and that's basically going to run through your site. Um, it's going to just take a scan of it, see how big it is. Um, and then it's going to go through um, your database, do checks, etc. Then it will come up with good, good, good. And here it says, notice that my size is quite big. There's the size of my WordPress website. Um, and anything over, uh, let's just have a look, anything over 150 megabytes, it's going to throw you a little size check there. If you're getting anything that's like 1 megs or 2 megs, then you really need to make sure that um, you aren't uploading your images or your videos or anything that are too high resolution or too big. Okay, so I'm quite happy with this. It does say, ah, uh, there we go. So I have uploaded two files here. One is four megs and one is nine megs. How that happened, I have no idea. But anyway, we're just going to um, add a filter and rescan. And that will obviously reduce the size of our website. There, it's re reduced a bit, not that much, but it's fine. And we don't really need those images. So this has given us a notice and it says there's a problem, you're okay to continue. So just click yes and then click build. And that's gonna build the package that can take a couple of minutes, so just be patient. Okay, once it has been completed, then you'll see this page with an installer and archive file to download. So you'll click on installer and then save that somewhere, for example, on your desktop and your archive file and save it in your desktop as well. Okay, so that's the process of using Duplicator to create um, archive files for your WordPress website. Um, the process of restoring your website with Duplicator is a little more complicated, and we're going to touch on that um, during the course of October. There will be a video tutorial guide for you to follow. So keep these safe in your maintenance folders and check back in with the WordPress workspace for more tutorial guides to help you with your WordPress website. Thank you.